Man, I'm good. Their cunning trap has failed. Hey, consider the jammer jammed. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna give the police an anonymous tip. And boom! No more hideouts. Appreciate the help. Did you get what you needed? Yep. I'm gonna dig some more into this turf war between the underground and the Magis. Smells like a story. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to hearing the podcast. say that's a bingo folks the feast centers have had a rough go ever since their founder Martin Lee turned out to be the mad bomber known as Mr. Negative but I believe in the feast centers because I knew May Parker the brave woman who literally gave her life to keep them going so I was distressed to hear the Harlem branch recently suffered a damaging flood. With us is Gloria, director of that center. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anyone who wants to donate to the cleanup, check out our website. It's tax deductible. Wonderful. I'm donating 10% of my paycheck for this week, and half of Jeremy's. Now, I'm hearing Spider-Man may have been responsible for the flood. No way. Someone was responsible, but it wasn't Spider-Man. Follow the money. Who benefits from lower property values? And I'm going to stop you, now, because we have a strict policy of not saying anything that will get me sued. Incidentally, I'm pretty sure Spider-Man can't afford one. He wasn't Spider-Man. We're out of time. Thanks so much for joining us, Gloria. And remember, everyone, if you want to be a real hero, not like a certain masked man, donate to peace. Jared, cut her mic before I end up in the poorhouse. Thanks, Underground.
just picked up a car chase. Robbers won't be expecting you. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. Find it over here. Said it sounded like a celebration. Something that does both. I asked for you for Christmas and away he goes. too far away. No clocks around here. Oh, the church bells. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me.
more if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. You look just like the pictures. Well, just, well. Another Christmas gone, and a year without a boyfriend. I hate to bother you, but... Today, I want to address some rumors making the rounds of the pool halls and sleazy bars. Suppose Wilson Fisk has been trying to destabilize Harlem in order to make it cheaper and easier for him to acquire properties. All from behind bars! Now, you all know my distaste for conspiracy theories. If there's proof, I will be the first to condemn malfeasance. But until that happens, it is poisonous, irresponsible, and wrong to repeat such baseless and inflammatory claims. That's the kind of behavior I'd expect from someone like Spider-Man, who several people have told me enjoys a destabilized neighborhood himself because it creates more crime and thus more opportunities for him to make himself look good. So let's be careful what we say and stick to the facts. Okay, people? took over that billboard. Bet they're close by. Once I lock onto the underground signal, locating the source. All right, now to track them down. Your evil logo on a billboard is definitely a pan bingo. The underground. Are you sure you're getting more press with these billboards, or just more of me? Good work, 
took down an underground hideout in Greenwich, and we found evidence the underground went to war against the mafia. Yes, that mafia. The old school crime family. Back then, there was no tinkerer, and the underground considered themselves... Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're doing this? Okay. <laughs> it's the last one. Show them. Clear off, Spider Man. We've got this handle. Spider-Man, nice job exposing rocks on it all. Yeah, I wish you gave me the heads up to sell their stock first. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Why 
do you keep changing the suit? Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose them. Sound you need's like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with venom. <laughs> nah. I'm not gonna find it over here. Good to see Feast out here. But that sound would drown out the rest of the track. Man, I could use some coffee. I don't think I brought my wallet. And it's not the right sound. behind me. Oh, that's cool. Look how alive that feels. After I started calling myself a problem, met my first client right under this sun. Neon flag's hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. Dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station.
fire station. back there. Getting too far away. Behind me. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. 
You did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Apps picked up another... This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Probably something you'd always find here. Not this way. Probably something you'd always find here. Like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. You look just like the pictures. And he's leaving. Nah. Getting too far away. <clears throat> There's a lot of birds around here. Maybe? Pretty sure it's behind me. Look out! I'm not gonna find it over here. <clears throat> Think it's back there. I'm gonna find it over here.
I think it's back there. As far as I'm concerned, Rockstar deserves ten times worse than you gave him. Thanks for shining a light on those scumbags. <clears throat> Not this way. Someone's repeated in a but there was pretty a sure it's behind me. Uh, I hate when that happens. I do even ask, but I hate those two.
Nah, getting too far away. How did Dad record this? Is he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. Dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. The next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. <laughs> Rhythm, rhythm. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's subtle, but it could be. Things were Why did I make so many Christmas cookies? We have four dozen just sitting around. Hey, Gloria. What? Just checking in. Things all good at feast? Firing on all cylinders. Your plumbing truly is a modern miracle. When are you coming in to volunteer, kid? Got coffee that needs pouring. <laughs> good thing I've been practicing my form. You still got a Wednesday afternoon shift? I'm meeting up with Haley that... Dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were little. Got one present for Christmas. Watch it! Boy, was it a doobie. Thanks, Dad. Maybe something mechanical? I'm leaving you you do something weird. <laughs> that 
that's not it. There's a subway line near here. Need to wait for the train to come by. Get close enough to record it. Yes, that's it. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. My dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah, sounds like dad. Hey, young... You got almost everything you need for the track. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Place where I fought him? Doesn't have the best memories, Uncle Aaron. Subway tunnels. That's a good thief needs a good hideout. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and Dad's equipment. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. the sounds. Frequency lock? <laughs> Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the Prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. 
so I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. He didn't want you to turn out with me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. Call dropped. Anyway, coming in to pour coffee soon? <laughs> Good thing I've been practicing my form. You still got a Wednesday afternoon shift? I'm meeting up with Haley that day. Maybe we can both stop by. Ah, kid, I see how it is. Trying to look good for the ladies. I approve. Yeah, I'll keep a spot warm for you both. See you next Wednesday. See you then. Okay, Natural History Museum. Clue on the postcard said, facing the park with the world on our shoulders. We guard the next clue. Hmm. That'll teach you not to do that again. Okay, Natural History Museum. Clue on the postcard said, facing the park with the world on our shoulders. We guard the next clue. Hmm. There's a statue of four guys holding a globe at the Central Park entrance. Might be what that clue means. Natural History Museum. Clue on the postcard said, facing the park with the world on our shoulders. We guard the next clue. Hmm. There's a statue of four guys holding a globe at the Central Park entrance. Might be what that clue means. I've seen that new Spider-Man swinging around Harlem. Or maybe he'll get an action figure just standing this kind of cool. Gotta catch a movie. Later. Natural History Museum. Clue on the postcard said, facing the park with the world on our shoulders. 
we guard the next clue. Hmm. Another postcard under here. Never seen this one's of the Empire State Building. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Dad. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to celebrate 16. Tour down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn forced me to take you to the museum every weekend? Here's a secret. I love those trips. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now. But I would have never made it to 18 without you. Anytime I'd see you with Finn, I'd feel less guilty. You have a sister. Her. With Finn, and now Genki, you'll always have family. Love you lots, big man. See you at the next clip. I've been a I haven't heard his voice in so long. I hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger hunt. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find my note? Yeah. I followed the clue. Just her dad. Did you do all this? Just the setup. Your dad made the clues last year. I know it's been tough since the move. Thought hearing from him could help. It does. Gracias, ma. De nada. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. You can tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. Mijo, are you at home? I'm doing Spider-Man things. I'm still getting used to that. Reminds me of when I used to call your dad at work. Sometimes I'd catch him on patrol, or he'd have to shout over sirens. You ever call when he was making a bust? One time. He was taking in a felon who'd skip bail. The guy wriggled out of his cuffs and his pants to make a break for it. Your dad had to chase him down fifth. I was on the phone for the whole thing. No way! You serious? Serious. Best part? People took pictures, and it made the bugle. <laughs> Your dad was not happy. Made him the butt of a lot of jokes at the station. What? <laughs> nice one, Ma. I did not mean to do that. Either way, awesome story. So what's up? Did you need something? No, I just wanted to hear your voice and make sure you're OK. I'll let you go. Bye, honey. Love you. Bye. Yo, someone saw a weapons deal going down nearby. 